Google just introduced its new generative AI model dubbed Gemini. And Yahoo Finance tech reporter Dan Holly is here with the details. So Google has entered the ring, Dan. Mm -hmm. Gemini. Mm -hmm. What do we know about how it competes, especially when you think about ChatGPT? Yeah, I mean, this will blow away ChatGPT. Uh, it's really what this is competing against is OpenAI's latest model, which mm -hmm. is GPT-4. Right. So that's what this is the, the big competitor to. Um, you know, it's what they call uh, natively multimodal. So think about it this way. When you have something like um, uh, a generative AI chatbot, you have them that they work with audio, text, video, um, uh, images, right? But uh, according to Google's DeepMind, those are kind of all stitched together to make one actual AI model. The big deal about this is that it's from the ground up meant to work with photo, video, audio, text, things like that. So, you know, in some of the examples they showed, uh, it was, you know, showing this AI a picture uh, of a, a hand-drawn picture of a duck and it was able to recognize that it was a hand-drawn picture of a duck. And then when the presenter colored the duck in blue, it recognized that it was blue and said, most ducks aren't blue. And then they pulled out a rubber ducky that was blue, and it said, okay, maybe some ducks are blue. And right. It said, what material is this? And they were like, well, it looks like it's you know, some kind of rubber. And they're like, well, it float, and it goes prop. You know, so it's like it understands all of this kind of stuff. It's not smart, right? It's 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 based on things that it's it's been exposed to it's learned it doesn't have emotion this isn't you know terminator or anything like that uh just you know to get well, that you out there. say that that it isn't terminator but i don't know if you remember there was an article out earlier this this year um i think it was a kevin roos piece where he was interacting with um bard right um and it started to seem to take on this um this persona that was just like just just got extreme and yeah. professing love if you if you remember yeah, yeah, that yeah. so like you're saying it won't be the terminator but there is an issue when you think about guardrails when yeah, you think yeah. about um the you know what's happening with the generative ai space so what would you say is the takeaway so you say this is of course it's going to blow away chat gpt but what about like where open ai is now and then in general all the players that are developing their own like meta their own yeah. answer to that yeah so this is this is going up against gpt4 so that's uh, open ai's top of the line model, right? So this is going to be a, a big deal. And the, the other thing about this is there's three versions of it. So there's the, the top end version uh, that's going to be running in servers. Uh, that's called Gemini Ultra. Then there's Gemini Pro, which is going to be for you know more, more casual business users. And then there's Gemini Nano, which is actually out running on the Google Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. Okay. So it's, it's in devices. Uh, Bard is getting a Gemini update today. Uh, so they're, they're rolling this out now. It still needs time. It's only uh, English language versions of this. Um, there was a report that they were holding it back entirely because they only had the English language version, but clearly they're, they're rolling it out. And I think you know, the, the, the big thing to keep in mind is that you know, unlike Microsoft, which is adding this as a value to its cloud service that makes up a, a, you know, a, a good bulk of its, its revenue, Google is still wholly reliant on search and advertising, right? So, you know, they're going to add this to their, their workspaces. Um, they have Duet AI, uh, which is their, their workspaces AI. That's going to get a Gemini boost as well. Uh, the smartphone market for, for them, still pretty small, right? right. It's, it's all about, for them, advertising. And so they specifically point out that this is going to be going into the uh, search section, uh, as well as uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, and then obviously workspaces, but it's the Google search part that's most important because mm. right now they have something called search generative experience. It's a version of Google search that runs on generative AI. So you'll you'll search for you know Yahoo Finance, you know Dan Howley or something, right. uh, and it'll show. Of course. It'll it'll show very handsome, great yeah. writer, things like that. Uh, you know, so that's the generative AI version. It's also known to lie, so uh, that's probably <laughs> why it does that. Uh, but then you know yeah. this is going to come eventually to full search. So this is. This is basically their their future proofing right. uh, going down right. the line. They also just need to show people that, you know, open that they're AI in the is game. The only yes, game the exactly. They have an exactly. answer. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe right. it will surface the uh, beard oil products that you use too. Zero. Head and shoulders really? every day. Oh my! Wow. Old school. All right. <laughs>